It was easy wrestling with Coxie. Any Mongolian wrestler could beat Coxie. If there's anything this place makes you do, it's, it's think about why we're here and what we're here for. And like, I think I get the answer and I, I say it, and when I say it out loud, I go, no, that's not quite right. So there is maybe no answer. It is very good for us to have the shaman visit. The shaman is connected with the spirits. He tells us the good and bad things that will happen in the future. And he tells us about our past lives. The shaman was just like one crazy dude when he starts doing that dance. He's just like, you know, in his own space and at one with the spirit. I thought it was amazing, like sort of being in a church. The whole ceremony that he went through, he said some things that were true, and it was the same for Coxie. You couldn't but become a part of the experience. He said that if I give this one to my partner and I eat this one, that we'll have a happy life. <laughs> So I thought I might do that when I get home. I think everyone deserves to be happy and love. And the lady next to me asked the same sort of question. So she was sitting there holding my hand, you know? It was really nice, really nice. I would like to have another moon. That's definitely been a time of introspection and looking at what's real in life, what's not real in life. You know, why are these people so happy when they have absolutely nothing? What's important is family and love and compassion and sharing that with others. All the rest is bullshit. Being here has made me realise I'm not missing email, I'm not missing pressure of work, I'm not missing the noise, the noise of the city. I'm not missing thinking about what I have to do every day, thinking about the millions of commitments that are, that are there. I'm not missing um, all of that. Wonderful. Something from this trip that'll stick in my mind is Annette Presley, millionaire picking up dung off the floor of her new house. I am not using my hands.
billionaire businesswoman Annette Presley and television builder John Cox have spent four days living in the middle of Mongolia. They've been challenged to perform the same daily tasks as a Mongolian horseman. And along the way, they've formed a close bond with their host family. But before they can return home, Annette and Coxie still need to prove that they are able to live and work as true nomadic Mongolian horsemen. So we woke up in the morning and the next thing I knew, <laughs> the stove was being moved and the cupboards were being packed up and the blankets were being packed up. I think we're out of here. Well, I don't know, but I don't know. They're nomadic. They just decide to move, they move. The place just fell down and every part became part of the pack. You know, they, a place for everything and everything in its place because they've done it so many times. And the classic thing is, inside there, people are still drinking cups of tea. I thought, I thought, well, my bag's sort of round and robust, and I, it's got it's actually a backpack, and if I had to, I could put it on my back. But there was one there, that, it was like on a trailer, because it's got wheels. But then I had to put it on a yak, a yak pack, a Louis Vuitton yak pack in the middle of Mongolia. It's good advertising for them, isn't it? <laughs> Even though you're totally destroying my suitcase. Louis Vuitton bag, first time in history for it to be trailed through Mongolia, I bet you. And also with a woman wearing gucky perfume and gucky sunglasses. My suitcase is gone on a yak, and um, I don't know where we're going, really. Hut! Having trouble getting past the last of my walls. We should have thought of that before you chose to fall. Being here has made me realise that a lot of what we do every day is actually bullshit. We think it's important the way we look, the way we dress, but is it really important? And does it actually really make us happy when we achieve it? And when we achieve what we believe is success, does it make us happy? I don't know that it does. So on that basis, I should just give everything away. <laughs> Please don't put that on TV. <laughs> So we're going to set our fodder up just here somewhere. Sitting here, I mean, I've made some decisions and some about my life and some changes that I'm going to make. One of which being to be a vegetarian, and I'm going to move to a more rural environment. I hope that I can stay true to that and some of the other decisions that I've made. Time will tell, I guess. <laughs> So it's kind of like, this looks like a good spot, let's just put it here. Put the furniture in first, but so you don't have to carry it through the little door. <laughs> God, bye. Here's a job for you, Amy. It's got dung on the floor. Come on! This is wonderful. Oh, good. Your hands. I am not using my hands. It's something from this trip that'll stick in my mind is, is Annette Presley, millionaires, picking up dung out of off the floor of her new house. <laughs> Annette's done all the challenges set in front of her, but there's one left and it's roping a horse. She's been practicing, practicing, practicing. She gets it hooked over a piece of wood every now and then, but the wood's not moving. She needs to lasso a horse if she wants to be a true Mongolian. Annette, good. Oh, good. I felt huge pressure going in there. Everybody's waiting for me. I'm holding everybody up. I miss the bloody horse. You know, I'll be here all day. Good throw! Good throw! Come on, heave it into that pile. Did you get something? Give it a little bit fishing. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I'll come and bite you. with you. I've got to go. 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 We'll dive exposure before we go home, but anyway. You are not being very positive! Shut up! Yeah.
It was quite hard and it's a little bit scary, but Gendon Gonchuk was just so supportive and close and I could feel that and that helps. Yes! <laughs> I can go home! I got it, oh yeah! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! I had the best teacher. He's the best teacher. He's amazing. Sam! Sam, and it boogered my room! Yeah, I did it. Isn't that awesome? I did it. I lassoed a horse. <laughs> I reckon I could get a job as a CEO of Telecom now I've got that skill. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to be so sad when we leave, and I've already been in tears once. If you told me I was going to feel that way when you first got me here, I would have said that you were just, you know, a complete idiot. <laughs> I'm starting to work out what it is about these people that makes them happy and it makes them in the mood they're in all the time. Everything they use, every, every bit of milk they drink, every animal is raised and killed. Everything they've got, they do. So they're satisfied with their lot. They're not simple people, but they have simple needs and simple wants. That doesn't make them simple, it makes them content. <laughs> That's what it's about. That's what these people are about. Champion. I'm just saying I was You sure you can afford you sure you can afford it? <laughs> okay. No, I miss you. Yeah. Yeah. This is greenstone. Yeah. Ponamu. Ponamu. Greenstone. Yeah. Like the Medi. You wear it around your neck? Yeah. Put it around your neck. Yeah. Take your head off. Around here. This yeah. this makes you part of New Zealand. <laughs> I'm sad that we are leaving. We have lived together for a week. And I feel that they are our family. I will always wonder, you know, um, where he is or what he's doing and what they're doing. Because they've just, they're amazing. Yeah, but we'll never see them again. I've changed, you know, in terms of having a deeper understanding of how important love, compassion, family, caring, togetherness, um, acceptance of others is. When I go back, someone says, well, what'd you go, what'd you do, what'd you do? That's all they're going to ask is what you do. And I don't want to tell them exactly what I did. I want to say, I want to tell them what I learned. I'm going to say I found happiness. That's what I found out here. Take care of each other. Never lived with foreigners before. We were definitely miss them. It's been amazing, incredible experience. And I will always have a place in my heart for Gendon Gonchuk. Be a better man, get slip in your back now while you can. I've got a simple master plan.